evening. Good evening. Good evening to all my young ladies and gentlemen, the new generation. Welcome to Walk the Talk. Home of the walkers, not the talkers. As we all know, many talk the talk. Many just talk the talk. This channel is focused on those that walk the talk. Here our mission is to build a new generation of walkers. Less talkers, you know. They can tell you how to do it. We never did it. <laughs> so today, if you're done talking, you have no more to say. You're just ready to put things into action, put things into play. Let's stop the talking and begin the walking, okay? We're gonna get into the first segment of the day. I am your wonderful, wonderful host. Great inspiration to others. I want to thank you all for being here with me tonight. Today's topic is executing ideas. You know, I was thinking, should I call it creating new ideas? I thought about that. But you can create an idea. You can get an idea that may pop in your head. You can hold an idea. An idea is an idea. Do what you will with it. But the most important thing about an idea is the execution of the idea. Not letting the idea go to waste. Okay? So, we'll start out with what is an idea. According to Merriam and Webster, an idea is a formulated thought or an opinion. A formulated thought or opinion. Okay? So, we come to the question of what is a thought? It's a formulated thought. A thought that had to form. Where do thoughts form? Right here in the mind. This brain you have in your head. It's a very, very important tool. Very, very important tool. And it's very important that you use it every chance you get. Okay? Thought is a frequency. And when I say frequency, I speak of... Let's give an example. You have a favorite radio station. Maybe it may be 105.1, 97.1, 94.1. These different stations carry a variety of things that people may want. They may want music. They may want sports. They may want news. So before all this new age technology, there was the radio. Radio. It's like a receiver. It's like the brain. You know, there's a big radio tower that catches all those frequencies, all those favorite radio stations that you might like. So, let's say you want to hear some jazz, right? No other, no other, no other way to get jazz but through the radio. You turn your radio on. You start to play with the tuner knob. Remember, it's called a tuner. Tuning. We'll get back into that. A little more into the show. But you're tuning. Trying to find the right station to match what you feel you want to hear. You're tuning. Got a static going on. Because you're not totally on the frequency that you're looking for. You got to tune in. Now you're getting a clear tune. Of 
supposed to write frequency. What do you hear? You hear some jazz music. It's what you've been looking for. Stop. Let the jazz play for a while. Jazz is playing. Feeling alone through the body. Feel it through the spirit. It's making you feel good. It's good music. The more you're listening, the more you're becoming that music. So, let's take it to your thoughts. Be in those radio stations all around you. Some pop in, some go right out. But the mind is always on. We're always thinking. There's always thoughts, millions and millions of them. But once our brain starts tuning, auto-tuning, I call it, you may tap into a frequency of thought that you probably wasn't even thinking about, but it probably just popped right in. And as you listen to that thought, It may sound good to you, it may sound not so good. But let's say it's a good thought that comes through. In fact, the thought with a new idea, how to create something new, anything. Now, with this thought so intriguing to you, Getting your undivided attention. Where your attention goes, you go. You're listening, you're paying attention. That thought just became a great idea. And how you know it became a great idea? That's when the light bulb pops up over your head. Just like in a cartoon, light bulb, mind is maybe kind of dark, scattering, until it finds that whew, flick of light, brighten it all up. Now the idea's in your head, now you're up, you're awake. You feel it in your body, you're feeling your spirit. This idea is so great, you can't take your mind off of it. Here's the trick. The trick is to catch that idea. Anyone can catch an idea. So what you do with it. When you catch it, you got to hold it. Not in your hand, but hold it in your mind. You know the mind can drift off. You can start thinking about unnecessary things, you know, things that really don't matter. And as you start thinking about different things, you start getting further and further away from that great idea. I've learned to hold on to the idea. Catch the idea, hold it in your mind. Now, the more you think about it in your mind, Especially if it's a good positive idea, now you're going to be on that plane of positivity because what you think about is what you bring about. So as you continue to think about this idea and you tap into that frequency, now, just like the radio station, you sit back and you listen. What do you listen for? You listen for instruction. Instructions come with every idea. Every idea. It is up to you to listen for instruction. Take physical notes or mental notes and hold on to it. If you fail to 
get the instructions, to gather the instructions, you will fail the mission of executing an idea. But we don't want to fail because we're walkers and not talkers. Someone can talk all day about their ideas. Sounds good. Drake once said, the idea is fun. The idea is fun. But with a lot of ideas, the instructions that are given, people hear it. But sometimes the instruction can be a little too much for the person receiving. This may be a lazy person that doesn't like to work at all, or doesn't like to do things on their own, or doesn't like to just do anything. In other words, they have no belief in themselves. No belief in their abilities, the power to create. Without the belief, every idea that comes to you will not be manifested because there is no belief. And if you're filled with non-belief in yourself, every good idea that comes to you, you'll hear the instruction, but then that non-believing part of you is going to cause that idea to diminish, to just go away. Because you're going to say, yeah, that's, that's a great idea, but nah, I can't see it happening. That's what you may say. What was the key words? You can't see it happening. You're casting a spell on yourself because you're telling yourself that you can't see it happening. You saw it, but you couldn't see it happening. You couldn't see it coming to light. couldn't see it. And when you can't see it, you won't be it. My father once told me the mind can conceive it and the heart can believe it. You can achieve it. Now let's break it down. If the mind can conceive the idea if you can see the idea in your mind, my theory is you're only seeing it because it can happen. It's like a coming attraction in your life that's supposed to happen, but it's up to you to hold tight to that idea. Listen for instruction. Take action. Execute. You won't learn this in school, young people. This is why I'm bringing it to you. You're gonna learn as you get older. Talk is cheap. That actions speak louder than words. You're gonna see people that just love to talk the talk, but have no results. People that are gonna try to tell you how to do it, but they never did it. You're going to have people that's going to try to discourage you from executing your idea, your plan, because they can't see themselves doing it. Those are what they call the naysayers. And all the Schwarzenegger once said, ignore the naysayers. Don't let that no spirit of the naysayers the disbelief of the naysayers. Do not let that become you. 
This is why I like to be alone. I'm a loner. Been a loner. Yes, I have a wife. I have children. I have a family. But at times, I'm still a loner. Because no matter what's outside of this, everything that is within this is what matters. We are not our bodies. We are beings inside of the bodies. This vehicle is to help fulfill the soul purpose. Your soul purpose. What is your purpose in life? Are you going to be a spirit in the body? Or a body just holding a spirit? I read in a book, it's a book titled I Am. And in this book, it stated how the mind is like a bridge. A bridge between the physical realm and the spiritual realm. We are spiritual beings in this physical body, on this physical plane, here to carry out our soul purpose, our soul mission. What is your soul mission? That's a question for you. Ask yourself that after watching this video. What is my soul mission? Don't answer yourself. Just put it out there. The great saying is, ask and it shall be given. What shall be given to what is asked? Only a question can be asked. So what should always be given is an answer. But ask yourself, what is my purpose? The answer is never too far from the question. The answer may not come today, may not come tomorrow, may not come next week. It may not come this year. But one day, that answer is going to hit you when you least expect it. You're going to get that answer. And for all my young people, if you've never seen The Last Dragon, I need you to look that up. The Last Dragon. Bruce Leroy. Bruce Leroy. Google Bruce Leroy. Ask about Bruce Leroy. Watch The Last Dragon. Open your mind. If you open yourself, ideas will flow to you. But the problem is a lot of, a lot of us don't want to think. We don't want to take time to think. Take time to go within. My grandma always told me, if you don't go within, you go without. Many of us go without because we can't go within. We don't know how to go within. We don't know what's within. What is within? There's another question out there for you to ask yourself. What is within? When do we receive ideas? We receive ideas when we are in the process of thinking. Deep thought, meditation, staying in tune with the universe. Staying in tune with the universe. What does that sound like? Staying in tune with the universe. In tune. If you're in a band and you go off tune, someone's going to be mad at you because you're not in tune and everyone will be able to hear it. Universe. If we break it down, uni verse. To my knowledge, uni means one. And to my research, verse 
falls into the category of rhythm. One rhythm. One rhythm. Stay in tune. Stay on beat. You rappers are in the studio, you new rappers. You're learning how to ride the beat, how to stay on beat. One rhythm. Stay in tune. One rhythm. Go with the flow of the universe. Because the universe is always going to be as it should be. Which means every moment is happening as it should be. Whatever is meant will be. And the things that are meant for you, they're all going to start here. They're all going to stop here first. See if you're ready yet. We all have a sole purpose here. Some of us catch it young. Some of us catch it way older, way later. But you young people that are on the rise, the next generation, it is going to be on you. Be a walker and not a talker. To be a creator. To create the visions that you have in your head, the visions that are given to you. To grasp, grasp those visions. Hold on to those ideas. Believe that those are for you. Like they say, the, the visions that are given to you is only for you to see. You can share it with your friends, your family, but they won't be able to see what you see or what you saw. Because what you saw was meant for you to see. And you only were able to see it because you were able to achieve it, to make it come to life. But it's up to you to have the belief in yourself that you can Get it from point A to point Z, taking all the steps in between to make it happen, to create a new world, to think for yourself, to think outside the box, to not be a zombie, to not be someone that's just going to take everything you hear. You're going to take everyone else's advice rather than your own. You're going to go to church to listen to what God said to the preacher rather than sit down, be still, and listen to what God is saying to you. Jay-Z once said, You can't believe how much power is in the human body. You young people don't need to wait till you're in your late 20s, your late 30s to be hearing this, to be knowing how to execute an idea, how to create and bring these things to life, how to not listen to the naysayers, the doubters, the haters, the non-believers. There's going to be many non-believers. You're going to come across people that don't believe you can do things. They're just projecting themselves onto you because they have no belief. They don't believe in nothing that they can do. So they're definitely not going to believe in anything that you can do. Misery loves company. Some people just want you to stay where they are. Don't leave me. Afraid to be alone, to be with themselves. Learn to be with yourself. Learn to take time to be by yourself. 
Because when you're alone, you're able to hear more. You're able to hear more. You hear more in silence. You hear more valuable things in silence. This is just like a testimony of me. I'm helping you young people out. Not by just talking, telling you something as if I'm someone that can tell you how to do it, but never did it. I'm telling you how to do it because I've done it. I've applied. I've put into practice the instructions Gained from every idea I've ever had. But when I was younger, creating movies, creating music, when I was younger, I was holding on to ideas. I was actually attacking ideas because as soon as a new idea came, I'd be on top of it. Nothing else is more important right now than me executing this idea. Ideas kept me going. Growing up in the ghetto. What kept me not being a follower? What kept me being a leader? Going my own way. Not doing what everyone else is doing. It was the ideas that I was holding on to, the ideas I was catching, being in tune at a young age, not knowing. Like the art of knowing without knowing, I was just in spirit. And when you're in spirit, you're inspired. When you're inspired, you're in spirit. And I was inspired by Thoughts and ideas. Didn't know what my next day was going to be like. But I knew the idea would pop in. Because I would leave myself open to catch an idea. Listen for the idea. Listening spiritual realm, in tune, the spiritual realm, my true self, anything I wanted to do, caught the idea, I held the idea, attacked the idea. I stopped the clock. What does he mean he stopped the clock? But every idea that I caught and I held on to, I stopped the clock. Because as I said earlier, nothing else mattered. But bringing that idea to life, bringing that vision to life, nothing else mattered. Hours and hours are going by. I don't even know. I'm just in spirit. I'm in the now, in the present. The only thing that we have right now, not tomorrow, not yesterday, right now, this very minute, this very second, and I thank you for being here with me. Allow me to give what is in my spirit to you young people. And I hope you're taking heed. Because we're going to build some walkers. This is just the first stop here. This is the first. The very, very first stop here. And on this first stop. We're executing ideas. Because we're no longer talking. We're walking. He's stepping on them. Who's ready to step? 
who's ready to get away from the crowd, be alone, be still, and listen to the voice of the higher power, your higher self. Listen. What is your higher self saying to you right now? Listen. The latest song that's out, that's dope. But that can have you listening to that all day, all week, all month. And people, I'm on this side. Because this side, as I said earlier, the physical realm. We want to get away from this side and get over here. Spirit world, where our true self is. So, if you're ready to walk the talk, let's start walking, young people. Let's start creating. Let's start listening for ideas to catch. Let's start using our brain every chance we can. Let's be leaders. Let's not follow the crowd. Let's be different. Let's dare to be different. Let's be different. So when you're different, you get different results. When you're different, you move different. You think different. You speak different. You're not blending in. We don't want to blend in. You don't want to be regular. You want to be different. We want to be different. That's the goal. Be different. Because the thoughts and ideas that come to you from the higher source are for you. And you are all unique. So everyone else has something different to offer. The ideas are going to be different. Unheard of. No one would ever believe it can happen for you. As long as you do, that's all that matters. When you believe in yourself, you have love for yourself. If you don't know who you are, take time to find yourself. Take time to find yourself. So, we're going to end it off like this for my young people. Remember to catch the idea by listening for it. It's like going fishing. Sit, listen. Ask the question, where's my next idea coming from? That's what I did. That's why I'm here right now. I walk the talk. <laughs> All this was an idea. I grabbed it, followed the instructions. Now what you're seeing is the executed idea. There's many more to come. So to my young people, I want to say proper education always corrects errors. And positive elevation always causes expansion. In other words, peace be unto you all. Many blessings and much love. Thank you for being here with me. First episode of Walk the Talk executing ideas that's what we put into practice this week execute those ideas and when you guys do grab that idea hold on to that idea get the instructions from that idea and then you start to work on putting it all together 
when you do that, come back to this channel. Leave a comment. Share your experience. I would love to know. I would love to hear from all of you that I've been able to get in touch with tonight. All those that stopped by this video, took a listen, took a peek, gained something from it. Wish you all the best. Thank you for coming out. Go walk that talk.